Chico's Pallet Shelter is marking a year of moving people from homeless camps into housing. Action News Network reporter Taylor Helms is live at the site. Taylor, are many people really getting an opportunity there to get back on their feet? Haley, as of today, 208 people are living just down this driveway in the pallet shelters where there's over 177, so some of them are doubled up. But 11 people have moved out of the pallet shelter into permanent housing. We're so excited to celebrate the one-year anniversary of pallet shelter operations, which I think deserves a, a round of applause. In the past year, there have been 284 people who have stayed for at least one night here. The city of Chico's target team has done 400 individual assessments during camp clearouts. Most people choosing to go to the pallet shelter because of the privacy, security and safety that it offers. Chico Public Works Director Eric Gustafson says the Highway 99 bike path is next on the city's radar to clear out. Would there be another cleanup of everything that's piling up out there before you start notifications and enforcing a clear out? Likely not. We've been through there probably 10 or 15 times just to do a cleanup only of, of um, existing trash. Uh, we're still finalizing our counts now and starting the notification process with the plaintiff's counsel. Um, but yeah, those are, you know, we're whittling it down to the really the two locations that are left, which are the, the bike path adjacent to the northbound 99 lanes that everybody sees kind of in the heart of, heart of the city. We really want to attack that location. Uh, and then, of course, Depot Park, um, which is near and dear to a lot. It's, you know, kind of centered around student housing and things like that. And there's a lot of negative impacts that take place. So those are really the two larger encampment areas that are left. So we're getting there. We're looking forward to enforcing and cleaning those areas up. Gustafson says from there, the city hopes to take a proactive approach when a new campsite pops up, especially in an area that's already been cleared to get those people into a shelter or the alternative campsites on Eaton and Cohasset roads. Gustafson says the lawsuit against the city did slow things down when it comes to tackling the homeless crisis. That lawsuit also the reason why there is a pallet shelter here today. Overall, city leaders say they've learned a lot in the past years. How to approach each individual when clearing the camps, what different scenarios or problems each person are facing, as well as how to abide by rules in that settlement. As for exactly how many people have been removed, asked to leave, or have left the pallet shelter in the past year, Executive Director of the Jesus Center, Abner, Amber Abney Bass, was not able to give me a number or an estimate. I'm still working to get that for you. But as of today, she says that it is hard to track those numbers because some people who have left have come back. Reporting live in Chico, Taylor Helms, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Thank you, Taylor. In that one year that the pallet shelter has been open, executive director of that the Jesus Center who runs that site, Amber Abney Bass, says there have been only one person who died while staying there.